everyone. Today we are carrying out an experiment and modify pulse motor gap generator free energy concept. Today you can see from this diagram how to harness the magnetic energy and also use it to generate free energy. Here in this diagram we have two coils induction coils and a magnet instead of using the repulsive mode that is used in the original um, gap motor generator we want to use only the repulsive force from the electromagnet here you can see there is a south pole and there is a north and this is part of the electromagnet must produce the south pole in order to repel this and here must be the not induced magnet so that it will repel this and so by so doing the movement of these magnets will have flow inside this inside this frame will also produce induced EMF from this coil now we have two energy sources, the back EMF from the interaction of the battery in the coil and the induced EMF from the um, attractive force to the magnet, this electromagnetic here. So we can see from this diagram that we have Coils, the input and the output terminals, so that we try to avoid pollution and to make this effect an, an efficient system. So that when you have your output coil separate from the input coil, induced magnetic energy will flow without any collusion. That means the DC part, the DC component of this system separated from the AC component which is what you can see here this is the main battery supplying energy and coils is something like a solid state relay in this diagram sends part of the current this should be the positive terminal okay the negative terminal the positive goes here and the negative traveling straight to, the part, to all parts of the coils and with this whole sensor it will energize, it will trigger this relay that whenever the north pole approaches, the south pole approaches this point, this relay, this whole effect is triggered and the switch relay is on and to energize this switch it will energize the, the coil and that process will generate repulsive energy that will shift this magnet and by so doing this magnet will be moving through and through and energy is produced and also the back EMF is harnessed and even the mechanical energy so be utilized. So this is a the, the back EMF collecting battery. This battery is we convert the back EMF and store it for another use. Here are the two batteries. This is the main source. And one secret again we have to understand here is that input voltage must be above 12 volts here we are using 24 to 48 volts then the number of turns in this coil must be enough to generate 12 volts minimum induced EMF whenever this magnet is in motion so you can try it so that it should be 
like a low, a low RPM generator when this whole setup is not connected that means when the magnet spin within this setup it should reduce a minimum of 12 volts it's at low RPM at low motion so that whenever you induce a 48 24 to 48 um, volts this coil the interaction already you can you will always harness back emf which is above 12 volts but what we want to explain here is that the repulsive and attractive forces which produce voltage it must produce power that means as it magnet approaches this starter core it is inducing energy into, into this coil and that induced emf must be high enough to charge a battery and since the repulsive energy is also harnessed it will also charge battery one drawback we've been having in our previous designs and some other ones we've been watching online is that induced emf in this coil from the magnet is always negligible it is very very small that it cannot charge a battery and since you cannot decode it that is why we've been having issues and argument back and front on how this system can produce free energy and sustain itself but mind you whenever you design this so that induce emf is equally high enough to charge a battery and that of the repulsive energy which is the back emf is also sufficient to charge battery i don't know what stop this system from being self-sustained so this whole setup this whole arrangement is aimed as at generating free energy and making it environmental friendly energy source we are not violating any law we are trying to conserve energy in a way and manner that will help mankind so this is a setup these are the two rectifiers your solid state relay these are the batteries storage this is the input battery voltage must be high enough and the, the number of turns here should be able to generate to a minimum of 12 volts whenever this thing is in motion not the back emf but induced emf due to the approaching of this magnet so let's see how this setup be utilized this is just a make a makeshift version of what we are talking about here is coil now there is a magnet is just an experimental version of this then we have to try this one thing you must understand this setup so make sure the oil you must first of all here should be the north pole and the south then you must identify the north pole before you introduce this magnet into this whole system so let's try it and make sure it is repelling this magnet before we allow the magnet to sit inside the hole so yes it's repelling it and it can go this way then look for something we are just using one side of this system look for something to cover it we use a transparent system so that you can see so actually use an unstable vibrator for this 
concept for this single pulse system and mind you this spark you are seeing here is the back PMF. The spark you are seeing here is the back PMF energy and the induced magnetism is entering the, the downward coil and here also you can actually design this in a way so that the interaction if, if fall of the magnet can also induce charges into this coil and into the one with the electromagnet so when you observe the voltage leading of the system you can actually see that even while this system is in pulse mode the voltage is a bit stable showing you that that is also an induced EMF produced as a result of the fearful flaw of this magnet mind you the height the bigger or the larger the stronger this core then the magnet and the size of coil the more power you can harness from this system and also the faster the better that means if this thing is pulsed at a faster rate it generates more energy than you could imagine and also you can see how strong the impact of this system is due to the sound this setup will be arranged in a way and manner that you can generate an unprecedented amount of power yes most likely we say that for every action there is equal and opposite reaction that is true but the impact or the effect of that action and reaction on the environment is what we are talking about this is the action the magnet approaching this starter then you have an induced emf here also when this action another action here when this man remember the, the attraction of this magnet to this data is three all you have to pay for is to repel this and the induction indu induced energy into this is also free and the second action that is happening here is when this energy source is and this electromagnet is energized to repel this remember there is equal and opposite reaction that means as the force is going here the reaction is that you generate a back emf that also stores to this battery and the same process produces a kind of mechanical energy that's the mechanical movement which is this you are seeing here the downwards and upward movement of this coil the noise you are seeing is as a result of this this also could be utilized to drive an alternator or you can design it in a way that it could be a linear generator like what we are trying to do here see it is bouncing this shield of magnet so this video is open it is an idea that is we are still incubating it and we want to carry everybody along to make sure that it is not what, something we do alone we want you to go into in-depth research and let's see what will come out of this thank you from jeff green energy concept keep loving keep liking Make sure you share, interact, we are free, tell us your mind and let's discuss this issue. The goal is free energy for every home. Thank you. Remain blessed.